name is Abby Craven. I am the uh, agriculture teacher at Randleman Middle School in Randolph County, North Carolina. Um, I spend time every day teaching my students about the importance of agriculture um, to them, to the world, uh, to our small community. A lot of the students aren't familiar with agriculture or what it stands for, what it means, what's involved in the process. So that's what um, I plan on doing every day that I teach these kids through the rest of the year. I just had a new group of students, so I now get a fresh, clean slate to teach these kids the importance of agriculture. So that's you know one way that my job kind of uh, incorporates agriculture every day. Literally, my job to teach these kids about agriculture. So um, I got my education at North Carolina A&T State University. Uh, I got my bachelor's degree in animal science and I'm currently working on my master's degree to get my licensure in ag education um, to be fully certified in the state of North Carolina. Um, my best day so far, I just started in November. Um, I was kind of one of those late hires in the school year. Um, I've had a lot of best days actually. Just my best days are when I see these kids' faces light up and they know the answer or they're so excited about what we're learning or they enjoy the activity um, that we're doing and you can just see the light in their eyes. That's, that's what my best days consist of. Um, my biggest challenge so far is just the stipulations that we have right now. We're doing um, a hybrid kind of thing. So half of our kids are fully remote at home and then we do A day, B day for those kids that come on campus. So I see four different groups of kids every week and it is very um, hard to kind of make sure that everybody's on the same page uh, with not having all of my kids in the classroom. It's very hard for me to do the hands-on activities and lessons that I would like to do, um, but I try to make it work as good as I can. And so far I've made it work. Um, might have had a little challenges here and there, but you pull through. Um, and then just some advice that I would have for whoever is looking to possibly become an agriculture teacher. I know, you know, this at first, this was not where I wanted to be. I wanted to do something, you know, in poultry or beef or something like that. But this is where I ended up and I don't regret coming here. I, I love my job. I love seeing those kids' faces light up when I teach them about the importance of agriculture um, and all the, the, uh, opportunities that it can bring to them but my my one piece of advice is just you know make sure that you're you're willing to put the work in because it is a lot of work teaching in itself is a lot of work so my biggest thing is make sure that you you are certain that this is what you want to do if you're somebody who just loves teaching about agriculture and getting involved with the kids in FFA and giving them all sorts of experiences then go for it okay this is that's what this job is all about um i know my agriculture teacher in high school was one of my big influences of how i even you know decided that i wanted a career in agriculture some way somehow so he was one of my biggest influences he pushed me um, gave me all sorts of opportunities uh you know just put me on every team that he thought i could could handle uh, all that kind of stuff. So definitely he was one of my big influences. So if you have somebody like that, just hound, hound them and just make them tell you everything that they enjoy about their job, that they don't like about it. They'll, they're there to give you those resources. So take those resources, whatever you can get. Um, and it'll definitely be worth your time. I'm still learning as I go. I didn't go for agriculture education. I'm going right as of right now, but I'm going day by day and I'm, you know, going with the flow and making it work. So, um, but my biggest advice is just make sure that you are, you know, 100% on ready to give these kids the, the um, education that they need as far as agriculture goes. And if you're one of those that just loves teaching, loves getting hands on and um, putting that new, that knowledge in, in heads and uh, seeing light bulbs pop on on top of their heads, then this is definitely the, uh, the job for you. So I hope that this helped you um, learn a little bit more about agriculture education. Bye.